welcome back to my channel. Today I am finishing up my Riverdale series with this Veronica Lodge look. I randomly had this black wig and I was like, why not use it? You have it in your closet, you weirdo. It is a little bit more like Betty in the first season when she like puts on that black wig and she's like, I am Polly. I still don't really understand. Polly definitely has blonde hair. So at one point did she have short black hair and was crazy? I don't know. But yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy this look. Let me know what you think below. One, two, three, go! Okay guys, so we are going to start with the face today because I need to add a little bit more of an olive tone to my skin because I am far too transparent to actually look like Veronica without doing a darker shade of foundation. And I'm going to use my Graftobian palette to do this. I really love this palette. It does have a little bit more of an oily consistency, but once you add some translucent powder, it soaks all of that up and gives a really nice matte finish. So, if you are doing what I am doing, where you are literally changing your skin tone, you are going to want to take your time and really blend because what's gonna happen is you're gonna start looking really muddy and you don't want that. So get into every crease, do your whole neck and whatever cut your shirt is, make sure that you get at least into the shirt a little bit <laughs> so that nothing is showing to where it would give it away that you're actually faking being tan. <laughs> So um, also make sure that you get into your hairline, your ears, and if you are doing a full body look, um, make sure that whatever skin is showing that you also add the foundation there. For me, I am just going to focus on my face and my neck because I'm not focused on the full body. Now going in with the concealer, I'm going to use my Crystal Sense palette and put this on my eyelids, under my eyes, and on my chin and my forehead. I want to attract light to these areas so that's why I'm putting the concealer there. So I am going to be taking this yellowy um, pressed powder and I'm going to apply that where I apply the concealer to prevent any creasing but also help to brighten those areas. Now contouring. I'm going to be taking this taupey brown and applying this to my cheekbones in circular motions and really working my way into the hairline on my forehead. I also am going to contour my nose to help with creating a more fierce appearance. I'm gonna try and restate that because that didn't make any sense, but it's basically going to help bring more dimension and angles. I'm going to work the contour up towards my brow also adding to my jawline and blending out with a beauty blender. I love Ronnie's look because it's so much shadow and mystery. It's very dark, but it also has a girlish side to it, which does bring in the bright around the eyes and on the forehead and the chin. She isn't all dark, and I think that's me reading into the look too much, but she may be going through something right now with helping out her parents, a parent and uh, kind of coming across a little evil, but there's still a good side to her. So now to do the blush. Veronica has a deep rosy cheek, so Maybelline's Fit Me in shade Plum is going to be perfect. I'm just going to take my blush brush and I'm going to apply this right to the apples of my cheeks and work my way up to the cheekbone. And just gently applying this. There's not too much color when you see her on screen, but there is a nice little glow there. So now to highlight. Veronica does not have a very highlighted face. I see what the makeup artists are trying to get across. She's now running the show beside her parents, so she's not your regular high school cheerleader anymore. 
teeth look really white. Ah! Now to start with my eyes, I wanted to start by defining my crease with Too Faced's Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to take the color Milk Chocolate using a fluffy crease brush and focusing on blending back and forth into the crease area. Now I'm going to mix this darker brown with this dark plum color and apply on the outer corner into the crease. I've noticed that Ronnie um, works with a lot of dark browns and plums and I wanted to incorporate that into this look. To not have too much shimmer, I'm mixing this shimmery sandy tan with the matte white chocolate shade and I'm going to apply that to the dome of my eye. Careful not to blend too much into the crease work we just did because we want that to be very clearly defined. Just adding that white chocolate shade directly under my brow to blend any of the crease that may have been too high and uh, to add some extra highlight to that area. So one of my favorite things about Ronnie's look is the smoky eye. Um, what I love is that it almost is like adding a tired effect. However, it's like the most glamorous way to do it. <laughs> but I'm just taking an angled brush and this doesn't have to be very clean. I'm literally just rubbing the brush back and forth a little further down than my lash line because I want it to, to be really smoky and a little messy. Okay, so for Veronica's eyeliner, make sure to get a matte liquid liner. You don't want it to look too glossy because again, her makeup is very matte. It's not shimmery or shiny at all and just keep it, you know, simple, nothing too thick. She doesn't have a very thick wing either. I'm just going to give a slight little baby wing, but um, don't go too crazy with the black liner. <laughs> Okay, and now to apply the falsies. I actually wanted to use these looks for my Cheryl video, but lost one of them in the making of it. So I feel like these actually still work for this. Um, so what you want to do is make sure you cut the lashes to the size of your eyes. I have not been doing that because I think it's me being a little lazy and I need to get on that because I used to do that all the time but they are too long for my eyes and the inner corners keep popping up and I didn't fix that in this video so I do apologize for my laziness in this video but cut the lashes to the right size of your eye bend apply the glue apply to the eye and then press down with a skinny brush this is going to be the perfect application for falsies. Then I'm just gonna take my curling iron. That is so not right. What I meant to say was my curler. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and give it more of a natural shape. Okay guys, you better believe I am so excited to be doing these brows exclamation mark. She is known for these killer brows. I've noticed sometimes she'll be wearing like very little makeup either on her social media or in the magazines that she's been in lately. And um, her brows are always done up though. So she might not be wearing a ton of makeup, but she is always having those brows done up and beautiful. So what you're gonna wanna do to accomplish this look is outline your natural shape of your brow and then enhance by about a thousand. Her brows are a lot. <laughs> but um, if you notice, they also are pretty close together. Um, so you're going to want to build that inner brow, but don't make it too squared. They still are like a pretty normal shape. They just are closer together than, let's say, mine. Um, so make sure that you also lengthen the brow on the outside 
side of the bow on the outer side I don't know but um, just make sure that those are a little bit longer and just fill them and you're good to go And then the last thing is lips. Lips are another huge statement of Ronnie's. This is where we can get glossy and not matte. I'm going to start by taking my Urban Decay Vice Palette and using this brownish pink color, I'm gonna apply that to the entire lip with just a lip brush. Then going in with a plum gloss, I am just gonna go over the work that we just did. I'm using a Maybelline color and I will list all the products down below. Okay guys, so that was the look. I hope that you feel it was pretty similar to how you see Veronica Lodge. Um, I'm really pale, so it's really hard for me to look mysterious. It's a little bit more easier to look a little translucent. I love Veronica. I will say I love Betty better because I just, I feel like she is like the underdog and she deserves to win. But I also feel like they're both pretty beast characters and they're both really strong women. So I really love this series and I love my girls. Speaking of them, look at this cover. They're on Cosmopolitan. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. They're really like, they're just everywhere you look and I'm really happy for them. Like look at, look at their makeup. Like on point, whoever did their makeup. Yas. Leave a comment on what you guys want to see because this is just really fun for me. So I like to know what you guys want to see and it gives me ideas on what to do. Alright guys, so peace out. I'm going to go read my Cosmopolitan now and uh, see you guys later. Bye. Just going just gonna to check out now. I'm going to go read some Cosmopolitan. Alright guys, so peace out. I will see you guys next week and I'm just going to read my Cosmopolitan. So, yeah, I'm just going to read my Cosmopolitan. Thank you.